Hi, this is Dave Vrain from Tools of the Trade. I'm in the World of Concrete at the Bosch booth with Matt Van, who's going to show us the mortar knife. Uh, it's an attachment. Okay, so like I was saying, a lot of guys, when they're doing the tuck pointing, they'll come in and they'll use a diamond blade to do their horizontal joints. Yep. They'll try to use a diamond blade to do their vertical joints, but there's two problems with that. One, if they, if they use the diamond blade in the vertical joint, there's a good chance they can hit the top brick yep. or the bottom brick. Then they're going to have, they're gonna have to go back and repair that, mm -hmm. which is a big problem. Or if they use a diamond blade, there's a little bit of a piece of material that's left over. It's called a half moon. Yep. A lot of the architects and the guys on the project, they say those half moons have to come out completely. We're not going to leave those half moons in there. Yep. So the contractors, what they'll do is they'll use a flat chisel and try to knock those out. But the problem with a flat chisel is it could bind in that mortar. When it binds in that mortar and then they go to pull that flat chisel out, you're going to tear the face of the brick out. You're going to spall the face of that yeah. brick. And then again, the contractor has to go back and he either has to repair that, and if it's you know, a historic piece of property, I mean, that's not easy to do. Or he's going to have to take a brick from somewhere else in the building, take that whole brick out, and then put that good brick back yeah. in. He just made it a much more difficult job to do. A lot more money, too. So what do you do with this? So with this, this is a new design from Bosch. It's coming out in July. It's got a blunt uh, face tip on it. Yep. Okay. That's designed to come in and pound that, that half moon out, and then it's got this tapered edge. All right. So it's it's like a knife, a mortar knife. Okay. It's going to basically pound that mortar out and then quickly extract it, get that half moon out of there um, without damaging the brick. We have two different yep. widths. We have a quarter inch width, mm -hmm. and we have a three eighths inch yep. width, which is important because these mortar joints on the job site they vary. Some of them may be thinner, some may be wider. So we have two different sizes that really will get that material out as quick as possible. So can you show us how this works? Absolutely.